Happy mother. Happy Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Have a long day ahead of me. So figured I'd take you guys along for the day. Got to head into work early. Got to go to baseball practice and coach. There's a parent meeting after that. Got to get a full day of eating in. Hit the gym. So let's see what we can do. About to head inside to my party store real quick. My dad's party store and get a rain. And probably a gallon of water as well. I'm honestly not sure why I never buy lottery tickets, but I got the spontaneous like urge to buy one. So hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully we win. I'll check that out later. I got to go and run into work because I am a little behind, but we'll check on that soon. But first thing in the morning, just because I'm in a rush, I got a super cookie crunch matter X bar. And then my first love, the orange dreamstick Lorraine. First drink always goes crazy. So a little update on that lottery ticket. I scratched it off and won $50. So I guess my little piece of advice for today is if you spontaneously feel like buying a lottery ticket, buy it. And if you scratch it off and win, don't waste the money that you win. Because I honestly, I probably buy a lottery ticket like every like month or two and usually end up winning just because I just only do it when I like have a random urge to. I usually don't want to buy one, but sometimes when I walk into the store and see it, I'm like, ah, why not? And it works out. All right, just got done coaching baseball practice for the week, about to head inside. I got to send some pictures to an agent that I took pictures for today. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store, take you through a grocery haul for me, and then hit legs. Just pull up to the grocery store. I looked down at my phone and saw it was almost 8 p.m. Eastern. I literally don't understand, you know, how time goes by so quickly. I don't know if it's like daylight savings, but I feel like it's way earlier in the day. So I'm going to have to get to it. Like, I'm going to have to just start going. That was literally probably the quickest grocery haul I've had in a minute. I was a man on a mission. It literally took me 10 minutes, like 10 minutes tops to get everything. I got my boy Sparky with me, about to eat this pre-workout meal. It's just chicken and rice with um honey chipotle, uh, honey chipotle hot sauce. what people say chicken and rice slaps every time it is so good like it's so good Just stretching right now. It's currently like 10, 10 p.m. roughly, 10:02, and uh, gonna get this leg in. Hopefully, we're out before midnight. If not, it is what it is. You know, making content for you guys, and I genuinely enjoy doing that. So, whatever it takes. All right, let's get into this leg day. All right, starting off the day with, well, starting off the night, I should say, with two by uh, warm up, and then two by six heavier. So I'll probably go with 245s for that. One, 
dos, three, cuatro, five. I don't know. I don't know what Spanish or six for Spanish is. Seven. Ocho. Just hitting some water before this set. Okay, two more. Okay, shit. Oh, I cussed, my bad. Okay, perfect, perfect. So now we're on the leg extensions. I'm gonna do three sets of 10 and then one burnout set. But the burnout set I'm gonna record for TikTok just because I know that'll make some good comment or content because it's mic'd up. Eight. If I can count that fluently, you probably got to go up and wait, to be honest. I am not going to lie. Alright. Come on, Billy boy. One. Two. Yeah. I wanted to take a second to talk about coaching baseball. Like, it's literally, I'm telling you, it's the greatest decision I've ever made because it's keeping me so motivated. Like, because I'm constantly busy now, and since I'm constantly busy, I don't have time to waste. And on top of that, you know, I want to be a good influence on the kids that I'm coaching. I want to be a role model to them. So it's just kind of like pushing me to be better in every aspect and better myself for them in a way. And, you know, I'm really enjoying it. I, I can't wait to see what these next couple months hold for me. Hopefully going to drop some merch soon, so be ready for that. And now we're on to some seated leg curls. I'm going to do a 3x10 here. And then go on to RDLs and then casts and then call it a day. Also, uh, if you're seeing this Kevin, happy belated birthday. It's actually technically your birthday because I'm recording on Friday, but this can be posted tomorrow, so yeah. If you don't know Kevin, he is a good, good friend of mine. So, wish him a happy birthday in the comments. All right, we're on to RDLs for three sets of eight. Gonna get a nice angle for you guys. And the last exercise of the day is some seated leg press calf raises well i guess it's automatically seated since it's leg press but i'm stupid so it's fine uno dos tres cuatro cinco seis siete ocho nine diez eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two Three, four. <sighs> Delicious. About to head home, uh, get at least one more meal in. I know I'm really low on calories, but it is what it is. It is the next day just finishing up editing. <laughs> it is the next day just finishing up editing this video. Um, when I got home last night, I didn't record anything else, but I did have two more meals. One was chicken and rice, and then I had egg whites, ground chicken, cheese, and uh, whoa. honey chipotle hot sauce. But that's going to wrap up this video, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day or night whenever you may see this.